Hey, I'm the Highway Walker, and on today's show, we are going to show you the steps that you need to take if you have cast iron pots and pans. We just recently purchased another one, and it absolutely needed to be seasoned, so we thought we would share these steps with you because it's imperative. If you do have cast iron, that you take care of it, and it'll last you a lifetime. Now, first, we're going to wash them, clean them, whatever we need to do to get them looking good. That means I might use Brillo, whatever. You're not going to hurt them. And so we're just going to scrub them up and get them ready. And then before we start seasoning them, they got to dry real well too. We got our pans in the hot soapy water. There's a few rust spots on this one, so I'm going to use a Brillo pad to get that nasty little rust out of there. You can see it takes it off quite well. And you yeah, want to make that. sure the inside and outside of, of your cast iron is super clean. There right. we go. Put it over there to dry. Okay. We'll probably dry it with a rag too because well, we will. this stuff rusts really fast. Alright, dry her off and then I'm going to let it air dry just a little bit longer and then we're going to grease it up and get it ready. To go in the oven. And I'm going to just grease the bottoms first and the top of the lids first, then the inside. And this is a good old fashioned Crisco lard. You want to definitely use a fat. Um, to um, cover the whole pans, lids, inside, outside, and then we're going to put them in the oven and we're going to bake them at 350 for one to two hours. I'm making sure I get a nice thin coating because I don't want no big fire in my oven. So we don't want to have a whole bunch on it, but enough to cover it and okay. soak in a little bit. And also, you saw us use warm soapy water and a Brillo pad to clean these. Once you've done this process where you've seasoned your cast iron, you never ever want to put soap back on these pots. You want to go ahead and um, just use hot water when you clean up uh, after your meals when you cook in a cast iron pan that's already been seasoned. When you get done putting them in the oven at 350 for one to two hours, you're going to let them stay in the oven until they are totally cooled down. And when you go to store them, you don't store them with the lids on. You should store them with the lids off. That's what Martha Stewart says anyway. And uh, that's the basic uh, process of cast, or seasoning your cast iron skillets. Okay, we're getting ready to bake this at 350 for one or two hours. And you can see he's put it down a drip uh, catcher with the foil on the tray below. Okay, now we're just going to bake it and then leave it. 